come back to the part two <laughs> of uh, this smoky eye look tutorial uh in this part we would complete the look from the previous part how i blended my foundation into my skin and all that someone said my skin looks like milk and butter like uh, uh, uh. <laughs> anyway guys keep watching and i hope you enjoy the rest of this part thank you moving on i am continuing this tutorial with fixing my lashes uh it's from the one beauties on instagram i hope i pronounced it well and i always have some issues fixing my lashes but well i'm glad that i didn't embarrass myself here and i did it so going in with a face primer from zaron cosmetics i am using a powder brush to blend it all over my face and my t-zone and my oily spots and i should be using a stippling brush for this process but i couldn't find my stippling brush anywhere around so i had to make what was available going in with foundations from l'oreal and uh, maybelline beauty i am just blending that all over my face and then taking some of it down to my neck because i noticed that in this video my neck looked darker so in order to make my neck blend with the skin tone on my face i had to take it down to my neck but i'm not sure that really helped but anyway i'm glad that it turned out as well as going in with my nyx concealer and la girl pro to highlight and contour my face it's just the regular contouring process well i i'm sure everybody has different process but mostly the same thing is done so that is exactly what i am doing here under my eyes my nose uh my jawline my 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 chin my forehead i'm just contouring and highlighting uh and then i blend out and then use a setting powder from sasha cosmetics for by setting my face you see this life no be so i remember remember the month of december don't have been lucky i've been not tender you rejected my love cause i was broke i've been the end of okada from me to my past track to another hill how i wish say you believe me back then in bangwalada those days in junior puja going over my lip with a mac lipstick and the brush i am just outlining my lip and then i also go over my lip as well with uh, a tara pencil tara is a nigerian company into yeah a nigerian company house of tara i go in with a pencil from them and still go over my lip i will put the name of the lipstick and the pencil in the description box below and then for the nude i use um, a classic lipstick i would also put the name of that in the description box and a milani lipstick in naked i think the name is naked yeah and then i go over all of that with the glazed lip stain from la girl pro and guys this lip stain is everything you know you could actually just wear it and go out just like that it is absolutely gorgeous so yeah and then i just keep blending that i blend 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 until i get the kind of the consistency to the kind of ombre look look i want and i think i loved how the lip came out <laughs> For my waterline, I'm going over that with a black shadow from Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And then I am also going under that with an orange shade from uh, Dare to Create Palette, Morphe Dare to Create Palette. I'm going to blend that in to make it look as soft as possible. And then after that, I go over my whole face 
with a brush and blend everything in to sit right and I just keep blending until I get the exact consistency that contour i use a powder palette I actually it's a dark shade of powder from house of tara international powder palette yes i use the darkest shade to contour my my cheekbone and then uh, my forehead to make my face look slimmer if you notice my face is quite chubby i'm a chubby girl so i just use that to make my face look a little bit slimmer and uh, I have other other powder palettes, sorry, other contour palette, but I I absolutely love this House of Tara powder palette. It's easy, so easy to blend. If you use it as a contour as a contour uh, powder, it is extremely easy to blend. So I just love 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 to use. My belly, my belly, unveiling guys so this is the final look the finished look i enjoyed creating this look i hope that watching this look you enjoyed whatever it is i have done here i i suppose i've done a good job and i hope you guys enjoyed it enjoyed this tutorial enjoyed watching it from the first part to the second part i know i know it's not easy but thank you for watching my my tutorials and yeah enjoy this tutorial enjoy this look if you have the intention of creating this look you can use my tutorial my tutorial video as a guide to guide you to do whatever you have to do it doesn't even matter what kind of look you're trying to do uh, i guess knowing a few products to use will help you better and you know just yeah go through my page and see what's there and what's not if you have any suggestions on this look or my previous look or any look you want me to do you can put that in the comment section below and please follow my Instagram pages EA of GIM Beauty underscore pro and GIM Beauty underscore pro. They are both my makeup page and my hair page, hair sales page anyway. And that is where this hair is from, guys. And also I have a, a photography prop page. I hope you guys follow it. It's at Gwen underscore props. Please, you guys please follow and for this video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification buttons to stay up to date and be among the first to see what happens here thank you guys thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>